Hey guys, welcome to the Homesteads. What we're gonna do today is talk about how to make a squirrel pole. Now, a squirrel pole is the absolute best way to kill like a bazillion squirrels in just a short amount of time. Now, let me explain how this works. What you're gonna need here, and just before we get into any of this, understand that this may be illegal where you live. Uh, the state, I used to live in Missouri, I know it, it, it was illegal there. Um, when I asked the guy who told me about it why it was illegal, he said simply because it works. And if you think about it, there's a lot of things that are illegal when it comes to wildlife and, and catching wildlife or trapping wildlife or hunting wildlife uh, because uh, they simply work. For, ins for example, uh, taking a battery fishing is illegal. The reason why it's illegal to take a battery fishing is because it works. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll let you go ahead and look it up. But what we're going to talk about today is a squirrel pole. It's not legal in all areas, but it is what I have found the most effective way to kill a bunch of squirrels in a short amount of time. Now, why would you want to kill a bunch of squirrels? Well, back in the day when I lived in the city, I had this amazingly huge baby tomato plant. It was gigantic in the small backyard that I did have, and it, it was being constantly attacked by squirrels who were getting all of my baby tomatoes. And so I was explaining this to someone one day and he told me about the squirrel pole and uh, told me that it would catch a lot of squirrels and hopefully protect my tomato patch. Well, I was in the city and I mean, there was, you know, in the city, there's no predators at all against squirrels. And so there was just bazillions of squirrels. I think I killed like 40 squirrels in one week trying to protect this baby tomato plant. And I still lost most of my tomatoes. I mean, it, it, I didn't make a, even make a dent in the population, even though I killed like 40 of them in a week's time. So uh, it's, it's come up in our podcast. Um, we were talking about uh, one of the podcasts from one of the shows over at the homesteadnetwork.com. Um, it was Wayne, and he was talking about how he was having an issue trying to get squirrels and he wasn't having any luck. And we don't eat squirrels around here on our homestead. Um, but for those of you who do, this may come in handy. And also, if you're trying to protect your garden, if you're finding that your garden is coming under attack, this is probably one of the best ways I know to protect it. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need what these are called 110 Kana Bears. And you can find these on eBay pretty cheap or all kinds of trapping websites will sell them. But I have picked up most of mine really cheap secondhand on eBay, a great place to find them. You're gonna need a drill with a T25 star bit. That's what we use around here. Some three inch screws will work wonderfully. And then you need a six foot piece of two by four. And I'm not gonna build this, you know, and catch a squirrel on camera just for the purpose of a video. Um, but what I am gonna do is show you how you can do it. So for demonstration purposes, we'll just basically take this one foot two by four here, or it's like a one and a half foot two by four, 16 inch two by four, and we're gonna make one on here. And this is what you're gonna do the length of the whole six foot two by four. On a six foot two by four, you should be able to fit four, easily probably five of these 110 Kana Bears on, on your six foot two by four. So first things first, you take your two by four and you're gonna put these three inch screws at about a 45 degree angle into the two by four. Just enough to where they're just in the wood and they won't move, okay? Do that on both sides, 45 degree angle from the two by four. Just like that. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your 110 kind of bear and it's just going to balance against those screws. And what you're going to do is set this 2x4 up at a 45 degree angle against a tree. And when you do that, there's just something about a 45 degree angle when it comes to squirrels. They just love to run up something. Uh, instead of going up a tree straight up, they will, hit, they will hit a 45 degree angle limb or a board every single time. And they will run up this thing to get up into a tree just because it's there. I'm not kidding you. This totally works. It's totally an attractant to squirrels. When you set something up at a 45 degree angle, the squirrel will encounter the kind of bear. It will flip. And when it does, uh, it'll probably fall off. And then the next squirrel that comes up will hit the 2x4, run up the 2x4, and will then, will then encounter the next uh, 110 kind of bear that's in line on the 2x4, hit that one and it'll fall off. And before, and you can attach these, if you attach your kind of bears to your boards like this, what's going to happen is your, your squirrels are just going to be hanging. You know, when you, when you come to check on your pole, the squirrels will, it'll be full and the squirrels will be hanging from uh, the 2x4. And it's that simple. So that's the squirrel pole. 
People spend a lot of money every year on all kinds of gadgets to keep squirrels out of their gardens or to keep them out of their bird feeders or to keep them out of their attics or crawl spaces. Squirrels are constantly getting into people's attics and crawl spaces and causing a lot of destruction of property for people. So if you have a problem squirrel or a number of problem squirrels, you can use this method to get rid of them. It's very effective. Um, you'll see sometimes the squirrel pull is made with snares but the 110 Conibear is way more effective than the snares. Sometimes the snares get tangled up and they fall off before a squirrel can get into them. The 110 Conibear will stay put when you need it to and will work almost every single time. I know from experience. Again, make sure you check out the legalities of this device in your area to make sure it's legal. It's not legal in all areas. And again, the reason why it's not legal is because it works. So um, check with your local uh, laws uh, and make sure you follow them. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, check out this list of fine people. These are our patrons, and they help bring about all the videos that we do here on An American Homestead. And if you're interested in learning more about our patrons, you can go to patreon.com slash anamericanhomestead and check them out and see the benefits of becoming a patron. For more videos and helpful information like this, you can go to our website, anamericanhomestead.com, and check out all the great articles there. And then be sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, share our videos, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate you guys and sharing all of our videos. All right, guys, we'll see you next time on An American Homestead. Homestead.